everybody? It's Ad One, and this is Face to Face. It's Easter Sunday. I came to my parents' house to drop off some food and some uh, some gifts that I got them from uh, Disney World, but they ain't even here. Like, they never here. What's going on? <laughs> anyway, I had to just make this video because these last few days in social media has been outrageous. Y'all know... I don't really like touching on celebrities like that. Like, I don't care what's going on in celebrities' lives. I don't hold celebrities on a pedestal like they're God's gift to society, like everybody else in America does. I just look at celebrities like, you know what, you you excel at what you do, and, you know what I'm saying, you get paid for it. Okay, cool. Kudos to you. Like, good job. But this fabulous situation has to be talked about. Because, I mean, we all know Fab. Like, it's not like something happened. It's not like a Richard Pryor situation, like something that happened when my parents were young. You know what I'm saying? Like, Fab. Like, we all know Fab. He's Fab is everywhere. Like, he's at ringside at Jersey City. He's in Hoboken. He's in Fort Lee. Like, he's everywhere. You just see him, and you're like, oh, okay, that's Fab. Like, it's Fab. He's, like, laid back. We've seen Fab go from... This skinny dude rocking these, like, 5X jerseys to this fashionista he is now wearing, like, all of this expre expensive brand name stuff that we don't even know how to pronounce. Like, we can't even buy it in the store. You got to get it ordered. You got to get it imported. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, this whole situation is crazy. So, just to give you a backstory, Fab has been dating this woman named Emily B for about, what, 16 years? Somebody on Twitter said they've been together for, like, 30 years. But it's like, how? Like, how? Fab is, like, 40. They've been dating since he was 11. Like, how? <laughs> like, like how? And him, Fab and this woman, Emily B, been dating for, like, 16 years or so. They're not married. He's cheated on her, like, numerous times. She went on Love & Hip Hop. She was on Love & Hip Hop, I think, the first season, maybe first two seasons, back when it was actually about love and hip hop, not just women just, like, calling, their, calling each other bitches all day, sleeping with each other's man, like, throwing shoes and stuff. Nah, and all this ratchet foolishness. Like, it was actually, like, a good show. So they've been dating for a while. He cheated on her. He's been dogging her out, supposedly. She has a child with him, this, that, and the third. Like, and I say supposedly because I don't know him. So I'm just going off what people are telling me and what I've heard. So TMZ came, broke a story like three, four days ago, right? Because you know TMZ got receipts on everybody out here. So TMZ broke a story like three, four days ago, basically talking about how Fab checked himself into, uh, he turned himself into the authorities. Because there was a domestic dispute between him and Emily B, right? Okay, cool, fair enough. At first, everyone was like, ah, they probably got into an argument. It is what it is. Two hours later, another story broke out. Talking about how he punched her in the face seven times, knocked all her front teeth out. Listen, for you to knock somebody's teeth out, you got to hit them really, really, like, really hard. Like, you got to be on them. Like, you got to hit them with, like, some Superman Hulk shit. He threatened to kill her, threatened to kill her brother, threatened to kill her father. At this point, people wasn't even thinking about Chris Brown's situation. They was just like, yo, this is on some unsolved mystery shit. <laughs> like, what is going on? Loso say it ain't so though, bruh. <laughs> so, at first, people was like, oh, well, uh, what did she do to piss him off? You know, she probably deserved it. Because you know how people are. They always want to defend the man. Uh, you know, oh, the woman is wrong. Like, even when a woman gets raped, it's always her fault. When a woman gets beat, it's always her fault. All the time. All the time. Just like now, when a black man gets murdered, it's his fault, right? Not to me. <laughs> Not to me. The second I hear about a woman getting beat, I'm like, yo, this man is wild. But the whole situation, I wasn't quick to sit here and be like, Fab, you crazy, bruh. Because I don't know everything. And you know how the media is. They always, like, embellish these stories, right? Sensationalize everything. So, first I was talking to people like, uh, you know, I'm, maybe he did hit her. I don't think he did all of that. But he probably did hit her. But then yesterday... Somebody tagged me in a video on Twitter, and it was TMZ again. Somebody, I guess it, it looked like it was probably like Fab's neighbor. They recorded a video in like their bedroom or something, and it was Fab. 
Emily B and her father basically in the driveway or something just wilding. And here go the video right here. So listen, when I first saw that video, I was just like in awe. Like I was sitting at my phone like, I could just say this, bruh. Whatever they say Fab did, he did. <laughs> like, once I heard the father call him a coward and Fab was like, I don't need to have feelings for her and looked at Emily B like, why the F you bring him to my house? And she ran off like, ah! I said, bruh. This looking like one of those dramatized scenes and like those crime shows, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just crazy to me. <sighs> Fab, yo. Uh, listen, man, I hope, I hope we don't get any other stories out of this. I have a feeling something else is going to happen tomorrow. I don't know if he's going to go on the radio and talk about it. He might not. You know what I'm saying? Jay-Z has never said anything about the elevator situation. So he might call Fab because, you know, he signed. He got he basically discovered him or signed him or whatever. So he might just tell him, yo, look, whatever you got going on right now, don't speak on it. Don't post on it. Don't go on social media for like a week. Cop, whatever you got to do, leave. Go to Egypt for like two weeks. Whatever you got to do, don't go to the media about anything. And I believe that's the right move. I think that's a perfect move. Now, Emily B, you know, people are going to be coming for her. Like, oh, we going to, we, uh, you going to do a tell all book. Come on, Wendy Williams and talk to us about it. Any opportunity they have to bash men, they always want to do it. But in this situation, it's different. But my thing, I got a question for y'all though. Are you going to support Fab if he comes out and admits that this is true? Are you going to support him? Because there's really people out here that really, that still support R. Kelly. And this man is a, solidified, definitive, pedophile, child molester, whatever you want to put in there, sexual predator, whatever, he's all of them. And y'all still out here stepping in the name of love. But y'all quick to stop eating Subway because of Jared Fogel, right? Whatever. That's just my thoughts on it, man. I, man, listen, I this is a crazy situation. This is just a crazy situation, yo. And I hope Fab gets the help that he needs. I hope Emily gets the help that she needs. Whatever is going on, I hope they settle it. They resolve it. It is what it is. But let me know what you thought, man. Hit me on Ab. Hit me on Twitter at Ab One. You know I got the new Instagram. That's Ab One Uno. Do not forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell next to the subscribe button so you get all of the notifications. I got all types of videos coming out, man. Body transformation. Phase 3 starts tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? More reviews, all that good stuff. Hit me up. Talk to me. I talk back, yo.